we're going to open up to the questions. I have a follow-up question. Yeah. Um, like suppose someone who's already in the Indian Trust wants to do something really adult, really violent, or really sexual. You know what I'm saying? Is that, I mean, if you guys all said that we kind of keep our fingers out of the sandbox. Do we already have that? Yeah. yeah. We do. We do have some, some stuff. So, so yeah, you guys are not worried about that. My, so my books are mature and, and in content. I've got excessive yeah. violence. I mean, you know, excessive. Yeah. So maybe, I, I would, but at the same time, though, it's done. Professionally, Very it's, professional. it's done extremely well, and I, have, you know, I don't think anybody would argue with the, the ability behind it and the intent behind it. I mean, it's, you know, it's, and it's also not like the posters of, you know, lewd acts. No, uh, yeah, we're not working. Okay, yeah. oh, oh. my, my point is, is there something that one of you could do that would devalue the logo to the others? Of course. I, I, I imagine that. Okay, I, I think I, I, I think I think that I can uh, address and equality is a good thing. I think if you're doing it to tell a story and it's advancing a story in a legitimate manner, I got no problem with that. But if you're just doing it to try to get a rise and that's it, well, evaluate. We might ask you, say, man, uh, what what storytelling? Well, what advancing of the story is it to do this? Um, the robot kills a lot of people, and he has a, he and he has he butt naked in the first issue with his woman oh. in the bed. You know, it's like. But but this I can tell you how I approach that. No, so, yeah. so there has to be some sense of that. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. So, no, but, but, I, but I edited it. But with with that, it's, it's in advance, right? I yes. Mean, before so, the yeah. book ever gets seen by us. They're going to see the book, so they're going to read it and go, eh, it's a little rough for us. Or not, I what presume. If I already, what if my first yes. issue happened? Okay, uh, again, but with, with that, the way that I approached the roach, because I did not want it to be watered down or whatever. I didn't want it to be bougie in that, in that respect. Yeah, you get your black folks book. It's coming. <laughs> now, I, I said I want it to be unvarnished without being gratuitous. That's how I approached it. Now, I trust all these other people and their creative impetus. And whatever they put out there, not only reflects on the antidote trust, it reflects on themselves and their own companies. To date, what we have, the people that we have drawn to the antidote trust or who have been attracted to the antidote trust have high creative integrity. And therefore, if you're going to have somebody run through the woods but naked, it's part of the story. And it's not somebody trying to do it just to say, let me push, see how far I can push this, and let me see if I can put, piss somebody off, and let me see if I can get it so that the uh, comic book legal defense fund has to come and I can make it. It's not about all that. That's a hell of a marketing plan. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's about, it's, I think everybody here, first and foremost, is interested in what they're doing and the integrity with which they're doing it. And so I didn't have any problem with with um, Dale's book. I looked at it and my friend drew it. And the girl's running around there and she ain't got clothes on sometimes. But it was good and she was flying and it was really well done. So there's no, um, for the public then, there's no like, I don't know, if you see a trust book, you're not going to think automatically are. But none of you have so far done things that are pointed at children. I think Danny is the closest. Yeah. Even that is not really. Yeah, good. yeah. I mean, like Simon kills a lot of people. The first issue. Um, but well, you know, well, with those PG. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that you really don't have any books that are. No, we're not. Right, we're not aiming at the um, angels. But then again, like my I'm next book is going to be for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but I. I yeah. Is that true? Is that true? No, it is true. I mean, yeah. From the guy who. The Return of the Super Pips comes to Children's Club. Well, that's but, an interesting you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a dad now, and my son's nine months old, and I just realized, you know, there's there, there's a, a void there. Not with the editor of trust, just in the marketplace. And there's a way to tell fun, exciting stories that don't talk down to kids, but, you know, that the parents can enjoy and the kids can enjoy. So would you add to your logo then? I mean, this is a hypothetical, and actually it's fun to it's spinning this way. Um, would you add to the logo, like, um, editor of trust rent or... Added up dress R or whatever, will it simply be that logo and then the audience will have to actually pick it up? You don't need that logo. I mean, you know, look, I, yeah. I think it's for most. Yeah. 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 And the same as for mature readers or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and this would be something you guys would decide on yourself, or is it up to these creators? Well, well I, I think it's, I think the antidote trust, you know, if you're putting it on your book, that's point two percent of your of your cover, you right. know, and everything else is determined by the creator, and then that's your price point, that's the barcode, that's the the okay. logo in your title, and then and there's you know what the age group is, you know, and I mean the only thing that's going on, you know, the antidote trust, and that that's more about you know the quality and the fact that they're independents and, you know, that kind of thing. And, you know, oh, I, I know I'll be able to find them at Comic-Con. Cool, you know? I'm sorry. Please finish. No, no, no. But, I mean, I think that has to be the thing that is. And, I mean, we do express our opinions on everything. You know, and so, you no, know. There are independent people in the end. Because like there are. And, you know, when people, when people, when there are things that are objectionable, I definitely say something. I'll be the first one to say, you know. Why is she doing that? Right. Or no, or by saying, my kids are signing, that can't be there. You know, you know the, the cast members of, of their And that kids. would have to be okay with that trust member or why? Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, like we all, we discussed it beforehand. I think I think shows are the time when the only time when that really comes into issue. Because right, because they're all by themselves. Up the yeah. yeah so. Lance, um, from that, from the extreme source of works, as a distributor, does that influence sales? Is it sort of salacious and the thing? Yeah, I, I was going to chime in on the question of determining the quality of a book doesn't necessarily have to do with the material. I, I, I carry Sonic the Hedgehog. I carry Terror, Witch of the Black Rose, which of <laughs> Nathan throughout the entire book practically. Yes. I also That's carry Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, which has a very different kind of art. You really have to. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Johnny Vasquez is the kind of guy who you really have to you know, pick it up and read it to realize just how hysterical it is. But at first glance, it may not appear like it might belong on the same shelf. It, 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 it has to do with the storytelling. It's not even just the quality and the style of the art. It's, does the art tell a story? Um, is it is can you follow what's going on without the dialogue? Is it is it is it presented well? These are all kind of factors that go in, regardless of the kind of you know rating that's that's involved. I mean, is is it going to affect sales? Not necessarily, because they all have markets. Right. You know, adult buyers are going to continue to buy adult stuff. Uh, suburban stores are going to continue to buy Sonic the Hedgehog and Drones, um, and superhero buyers are still going to buy those type of action adventure books. I think that must have been my question. I wasn't really worried about you know. Is this all ages or is this extreme? Or, the, the thrust of my question was, what happens if one member of the editor trust does something with their book that the other people are like, wow, I don't know if I want to be, have my logo. I, do they have I, think, power I think that that did address the question, and I think in, in, in a roundabout way, I guess. The only thing that we have any sort of real issue with is quality. That's what's so important to us. And every other one, and I think Lance addressed it very well, Quality is huge. As long as it's the highest possible quality that it can be for what it is, and it, and it, and it tells the story, and it's a flip book, you know, to occupy for all the negative feelings. Well, you know, I would have interest in it because, like, if I presented, oh, no, two pages of, you know, two thousand pages, eight by ten copies, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, well, I'm sure that was kind of jumping short about handing on trust, please. Especially if they put it in the show. You know, I shouldn't have went back for distributing individually. But once you got one come together and everybody just cut it back and go, well, we really can't put that up. Um, the Antidote Trust apologizes for the actions of uh, Todd Harris. You know, <laughs> we don't condone nor support his activities. <laughs> Again, ha having some experience in turning down books that I don't think will sell. If it's violence just for the sake of violence, that no one's going to care. Sex, just for the sake of sex, no one's going to care. Tarot has a story behind it. It's a fun read. So that's, that's an, and, but then I've, I've seen other things where they're just trying to be shocking. They're just trying to be doing it. So well, wait, is the question if the creator takes a crazy left turn, what kind of yeah, control does the trust have? The, the reason I ask the question is because what you've done is you've created a brand. Right. You know, and the brand is your shit. You have to protect. And what one person does with the name of the brand affects everyone else's book. Correct. On some level because it's a shared brand. Yes. And, but there's also this idea that we don't necessarily understand 
But you've made a promise contractually in a way by saying my book is going to be X, I'm joining the trust in order to do this. So if you see that that's what it's No, I'm 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 and we are in the process of codifying. So we we will address that. But I think uh, maybe a good way to also do uh, somebody reminding me of uh, somebody that we rejected at the last minute last year because they had a bunch of R-rated stuff and it was it was going to conflict with something that Danny was going to have as far as the kids that she had uh, appearing and we had to say to that person, you know, I'm sorry, you do good stuff, but given we that we have this here, there's going to be a conflict and also it's beyond the time where you can declare mature stuff with Comic-Con, so we had to say no to that person. Um, I think that if somebody's sandbox, I don't mind if you play in your sandbox and you kick up a bunch of dust, but if you start to knock my sandbox over, then we'll have a discussion. If somebody in that or trust goes to that far, and it will take you going a pretty far distance to start to knock my sandbox over, then we'll have a talk. Okay, question? Well, well not so much a question, but to Try to boil it down a little bit better if there's still difficulty about that point. The things that both Dale and Robert mentioned that are tantamount to what the trust is are about are dialogue, it's conversation between the members, and professionalism. As a professional in this industry, you should know what is or is not going to sell in terms of content at the store. So if you know that up front, but still want to do something risky, and refuse to engage in dialogue, which is what the trust is about uh, amongst professionals, then in a sense you are risking the brand, and then there may be something at risk. But if you know up front that you have to be professional, that that's the primary guiding principle, there would be little chance that you would do something that would risk the brand itself. So the structure of the trust is, um, I want to go left on issue seven. I want to, you know, start to quit babies. That was Vince Moore, everyone. Vince Moore. Um, Vince Moore speaking on behalf of the other. The trust doesn't. Vince Moore. The trust doesn't say, um, no, you can't do it. They figure a way for you to do it and not hurt the trust. Is that what I'm getting from you guys? So you get to do it and keep the brand, but you don't get to do it in such a way that it screws with one of the other creators, I guess. We're running low on time. Okay, any more questions? Before we get too far, I wanted to point out some people that are in the, the, the crowd. We've got Stranger Comics over here. These guys are also down at the booth. Um, they've got awesome books. They've got a little guy in here. We've got, we've got uh, Vince Moore here, um, pop culture talker, comic book aficionado. He's amazing. Um, you talk to this guy. He's got great concepts with you yes. and whatnot. So if you've got a book to review, he'll take it too. Um, Clyde Harris. Yeah. Uh, one of the best artists I know, so if you need artists, go to him. Uh, Dwayne Copeland back here on the camera. Specific people, Justin, we thank you for your question. Okay, Dre. You're awesome. Dre. Oh, Dre. Dre over here. Uh, Carl and Noel. Uh, the boys, thank you very much for coming here. Uh, Dre does Force Galaxia. Yes, He's Force part Force. of Hero. Yeah. With an I, Hero, because I guess he was friends with the Japanese guy. <laughs> So are we winding down and more questions? No, no, uh, we'll go until they kick us out, until uh, you kick us out, it's all off. You guys want to, is there anything you feel I have not uh, guided you towards you want to express? Uh, any questions? Yeah, yeah we have, we have, we have uh, a distributor here who can help you know what's about with indies and, and, and uh, retailers. We have a couple of gentlemen. Legal info. So, what do you want to know? Uh, as a retailer myself, if I wanted to approach you guys individually to get your individual comics, do retailers have that option to get you guys individually, even though you guys are part of the trust? Can I say if I just want one person's comics, not everybody? Absolutely. 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 You, don't, you don't have to order everything in Haven's catalog and to, to get distributed by Haven. The same thing with the Anadol Trust. And the good news is, is that I, I carry Tumble Creek, I carry Dial C, I carry the, all, all the individual companies. Yes. Yes, sir. 